this point, I turn on the camera because I see the Dantex moving between the rocks. Since I am without shelter, I have to be completely still. When the Dantex swims behind the rock, I take advantage of the moment and start my dive quickly. But I shouldn't be too fast because I can easily scare him away. The hardest part for me is crawling to the bottom as I'm still without shelter. When I get to the bottom, I have luck that the terrain allows me to move along a completely hidden path all the way to the den. But I have to be very careful not to scare the other small fish watching me. At one point, I noticed another dentex. They both have no idea I'm really close to them. I calmly aim the spear gun in a big and close target. The hit is ideal. The dentex is completely surprised and tries to escape. It took me less than 40 seconds to shot and the depth was only 10 meters. But still, the dive is much harder than it seems in the clip. The Dantex is very smart fish and as soon as it would notice me, it would run away or at least come to check what is happening. So, I had to use all the knowledge and experience to be able to approach the Dantex without them noticing me. Catching Dantex with stalking hunting technique exceeds the recreational level of spearfishing and requires a great deal of experience. The most common mistake spearfishermen make are moving too fast, scaring smaller fish, making noise, poor strategy and lack of instinct. Stalking hunting technique is much easier in wavy sea, in the terrain full of good hiding places and it is important to understand how small fish will react on our action. If you would like to join me on spearfishing courses, workshops or trips in the Adriatic Sea, just send me an email. If you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe. Visit my diving platform h2oglobe.com for boat sharing, finding interesting diving spots or diving bodies.